Matte found. I like more matte foundations. I like more matte found. Holy fucking shit, that was scary. It is Fab Jen, aka Fabulous Jen, aka Jenny from the blog, aka Jenny, and I am back with another video. Welcome back to my beauty journey, and today we're going to be talking about the Forever um, Dior Forever foundation, and I have the color 5N. Disclaimer: I've only worn this three times. Recently, two days ago, and I did a live stream of it then again today and then before that two or three weeks before I did wear it um, all day and I do have some before and after photos um, and I'll talk about that and I do apologize I wish I had tested out like for a straight week which I normally do but since I've kind of been working at home and then I'm uh, also during this time all this all this shit that's going on right now um, I also didn't wear a whole lot of makeup to work so I've been at home mainly not all the time but mainly at home uh, been at home for about two three months then came back to work then gradually started trending a little bit back to working at home and now I'm going to be working at home again for about another month till I get the kids all situated and all that other jazz so it's crazy so it's Dior with, so it's about 50 something dollars okay um, the color range is not as vast it's gotten better over the past uh, three to four years um, but their color science their color formulation isn't consistent from series to series so sometimes like in this one I'm a 5 in and this one is more on the beige side so the color range isn't as great the consistency from series to series is not great I don't like that about Dior um, the packaging is typical Dior. It has not changed over the years. It's very nice and luxurious. This is a really pretty um, frosted um, frosted uh, glass here. Plastic top with a uh, pretty nice pump. Dispenses just the right amount of product. So I can say that about Dior consistently consistently with Dior. Their packaging has always been amazing. So let's talk about the claims. This is Dior forever 24 hour wear high performance skin caring foundation with sunscreen the uh, the, the milliliters is 30 milliliters it's one fluent ounce uh, which is about standard it says lasting comfort and care it has a broad spectrum of 35 now um I can't say I've noticed any flashback with this but I haven't used this with a lot of flashback the coverage is medium to medium full um, it could go into full coverage, but I want to say it's medium to medium full. Two pumps on each side, depending on what brush and or sponge you use, will give you adequate amount of, of coverage. When you use a sponge or a brush that you haven't used yet that's, that will suck up a lot of the product, it will give you a lot more of a natural look. It wears really nice. Um, it does not have a mattifying effect. effect. I do agree with it being a little bit more on that demi-matte or semi-matte side. When it does settle on the skin, you look, I feel like the beige undertone comes through a lot more. Depends also on what powder you pair with it. I did not like that effect to it. It almost seemed a little greasy, um, but it wasn't, I want to say, let me take this, not greasy, but maybe not oily, but a glow to it. I don't care for the glow. Um, there's only one glow that I really like that was by Laura Mercier and I forgot the name of the foundation but I did do a review of that and I'll link it down below and it gave the most amazing fucking glow it didn't look like oil it looked like you were angelic and you were glowing from within it's the only foundation that I found that does that now when that foundation that Laura Mercier foundation sits for a while it loses that effect and that's the only thing I don't like about Laura Mercier I found a lot of her foundations after it sits for a while if you're not consistently using it after a while it goes it turns into a dud and you'll have to toss it and I've experienced that three times with foundations from Laura Mercier so I'm not really big on getting her stuff it looks really good right now um, I've used the makeup forever matte velvet 
velvet powder on top of it. It does look like skin depending on how you apply it and what kind of look you're going for. Right now I was going to do like a little photo shoot with this outfit. It's really freaking cute but it started to rain really bad outside so right when I get the energy to do these kind of full body photo shoots and get my makeup done then it's fucking raining outside so yeah. I don't feel it on my face. Photograph's really nice. Pairs well with powders, cream contours, powder contours. Haven't had any issues, but I don't see myself grabbing it all the time. And I really don't like that beige undertone that it pulled when it set on my face for about six or so hours. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work the Dior's that I have in the past. I tend not to grab those. What I do grab from Dior is that Air Flash. Holy fucking shit. Talk about it does look like airbrush. It looks like airbrush. It looks like airbrush. And it's a really nice matte finish. And if you have your shade and that motherfucker right there, that is a bomb ass foundation to have in your collection. So that is one that I plan to review. I've been using that particular one for years. The only thing is that the color that I have was so off that I couldn't really wear it on its own I'd have to pair it with a powder or I have to use it as a base or even a color corrector because it goes more orange. And that was really bummy, yeah, uh, sad, but they have more colors now and I'm anxious to try those. Sorry about the quick review. It's I, I don't have a whole lot to say about it because I only used it three times. I just want to be honest and transparent with you. Uh, on my eyes, two eyeshadows. One from Melt Cosmetics and one from Natasha Denona. A beigey, peachy color. And then I used on the outer corner that Natasha Denona red like a bricky red color and then I just lined my did an eyeliner a thicker eyeliner than than I wanted to and then some eyelashes and this came out bomb I ain't gonna lie I'm looking good just looking good girl that is it for uh, my review rate comment subscribe if you like sorry this is a little bit more on the short side but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless and I will see you guys in the next video Mwah. kisses bye